Megan Azado at Condo Expert. And we were talking about how the value of your condominium could be affected because of people, whether they're tenants or whether they're owners, and they are smoking in the building, whether they're in the unit and they're smoking in the common element area that they're smoking. Really, to be quite honest with you, the only place that they should smoke is maybe on a rooftop patio. And then don't throw cigarette butts over the railings. You know, that seems to be another number one complaint. I cannot believe how many people are so incredibly disrespectful that they would take their cigarette butt and just toss it and to let it fall down 20 stories and land wherever. You know, I was, as you know, I'm the president of a condo building and we get that report, especially on more of the, you know, larger terraces, because if they're just standard balconies and they, they're flat sided balconies that go straight down, then they may not fall and land on anyone else's balcony. It really depends on the direction of the wind and certainly which direction your units are facing. But I will tell you, it is a common, constant problem on terraces and anything that jets out. And again, it's a safety hazard. Just taking that cigarette butt and whipping it off your balcony is a safety hazard. And these are things that people should be thinking about. Funny enough, you know how we actually got people to start thinking? We posted a notice. (laughs) It It was ingenious, actually. We posted a notice on the board thanking all the owners that had notified us of the people that were tossing their cigarettes, of the units of where the cigarette butts were being tossed from. That's called reverse psychology. And believe me, if it works on children, it actually works on smokers who throw cigarettes off balconies as well. So something to think about for you board of directors out there that are having the exact same problems and need to deal with it somehow. So in closing on that subject, what I would love to hear from all of you listeners in particularly those who are having a problem with smoke issues, I think that if we can continue to compile a list and present it to our provincial government during this process of the review and also provide a copy of it to the non-smokers' rights associations and maybe one step further to the fire marshals, it will give us enough documentation to warrant a review and even maybe to the point of creating a stakeholders' meetings. And believe me, that is where change begins. Because if we just sit back and accept it and life goes on, I'm sorry, but things will not be changed. And will it affect your bottom value? Absolutely, without a doubt, it is going to affect your value. And whether it affects it by the smell of the smoke or whether it affects it by the increase of your insurance deductibles because all of a sudden now you've had a fire in your building. Okay, these are concerns that you need to address and stay on top of. So I take a look at, you know, other issues that are happening. You know, a lot of the buildings nowadays, they try and look at environmental safety. And and I know that a lot of the paints, for instance, are environmentally friendly. And there's a lot of different types of services out there. The Condo Owners Association actually was involved with the National Home Show about a year and a half ago. And, oh, that was challenging. Ten days at a home show talking condominiums from nine in the morning to nine at night. You talk about being spread thin on that one. That was not an easy challenge. And the amount of people that had to literally line up to get information because there was so much details about condominium. Although they owned it or maybe their children owned it or their mother owned one, very few people truly understand condominium. So the reason I'm mentioning it is is that we were very fortunate. We had a company by the name of Geep International that came and sponsored our booth. And the type of services that they provide actually to the public are amazing because they're a global electronic recycling company. So basically, they're an industry leader. And what they provide is is that they provide a recycling option for IT products. Now, why am I talking about that when I'm talking about condominiums? There are a lot of people that live in condominiums that may not have transportation. It's very common. 
you know, especially too, I mean, it depends on which neighborhood that you're in. There tends to be more parking spots available in uh, condominium complexes that are in the suburbia areas as opposed to the downtown Toronto. But there's a lot of different products now like keyboards and old PCs and laptops that once you've decided that you're going to literally trash them, where do you trash them? What do you do with them? And it's not easily readily available to, you know, take these items, especially if it's your PC. I mean, they're quite heavy. You're not going to take the thing, go on a subway or go on a bus and try and get rid of them. So this particular company, who's actually based out of Barrie, okay, they've implemented a phenomenal program where a condominium building can call them up. They will put a disposal container outside the condo, which then allows maybe on a collection day, for all the people, residents living in the condominium building to literally drop it in the box. No different from the boxes that you see for, you know, goodwill and so on. And the other great part about it is, is that it does not cost the building one penny. Now, the expensive Geeps has a very, very expensive state-of-the-art facility and they service customers everywhere. They have 11 locations like in U.S. and Canada and Costa Rica with like over 700 employees. And believe it or not, they actually process 200 million pounds per year and over 600,000 electronic products. Now, recycling this is definitely better for our economy. There's no question. We have to address this because, you know, Technology is not going away. If any, anything, it's getting stronger every day. So electronic e-waste is important and recycling it in compliance to the different requirements. Like there's an EP requirement, an IE and an EPS, uh, EPSC standard. And, you know, and, and that's for the protection and safety for all. So I wanted to do a shout out to Geep because they've really were incredibly helpful when they jumped on board and they sponsored the Condo Owners Association, recognizing how important COA is to the community of condominiums across the province. So thank you, Geep Global Electronic Processing. Now, if your condominium building is interested in arranging for this container, please contact Info, I-N-F-O, at COA, C-O-A, Ontario.com, and we will assist you in making the arrangements. Another quick topic I want to mention is bicycles. You know, there's a lot of condominiums that end up with abandoned bicycles. Now, granted, some of them may not be in the greatest shape, but you know what? It's okay. There's a number of different associations out there that deal with refurbishment and recycling of bicycles and what they do with them when they're finished and they're ready and they're looking great again, they donate it to underprivileged children. Why would anybody want to toss out their bicycle into the garbage rather than thinking about all of the underprivileged children out there? Did you know that if you actually did a study of underprivileged children in Canada, you would be shocked to find out that we have so many in Hamilton and, believe it or not, in Vancouver. And I believe that there's another few areas as well. And certainly a lot of areas in the downtown Toronto core, there's another bike refurbishing group out there that are just absolutely wonderful. And then, of course, there's also other initiatives where they've taken these bikes and they've shipped them to third world countries. And it's so helpful and it's so supportive. Get involved. So again, if you have bicycles, if you have a condominium building and you are running into this, contact info, I-N-F-O, at COA, C-O-A, Ontario.com. Because we need these kind of donations. They're important. So, you know, we talk about different initiatives today, and that was what this show was going to be all about. And the other initiative that is really a, an important one, because believe it or not, it's mandated in an apartment building like a standard apartment building, but it's not mandated in a condominium. And that is 
Food waste recycle. When people live in condominiums, and I'm sure that condominium townhouses, I have to believe that most people do take their food waste and they do recycle it because for them it's a lot easier. They put it at the curb and the garbage man comes and picks it up. But in condominium buildings, you would be stunned to take a look at the pipes, say in a 25-story building. You would be absolutely shocked because if that piping is a two-inch piping and if the board has not hired plumbers to clean down all the different stacks and risers in the building, okay, those two-inch pipes, you'll be lucky if they're a half-inch with the guck and and nasty effects that they have around it. It's absolutely horrible. Actually, we should be taking a picture of this and put it on the COA site. So, so when you think about it, you know, it's important for people environmentally wise is to start considering waste recycling and certainly not throwing it down your drains. So we're going to talk a little bit more about waste recycling when I come back. So please stay tuned. You're listening to Linda Pinizzato at the Condo Expert on the Hayes FM. Linda Pinizzato, whether it's a house, townhome, or condo, when you're ready, she's your negotiator. With 34 years of experience, Linda guarantees that you have the real estate knowledge you need to make the right decisions. Call Linda Pinizzato at Sutton Group Quantum Realty, 416-561-7373, or visit her at lindapinizzato.com. And thank you so much for joining me. You know, today has been just a fascinating time of learning so much of what's going on out there. And that's what the condo expert is all about. I'll hit so many different issues. You'll notice them on iTunes and on podcast. Reporting here from the Hayes FN, you have been listening to Linda Pinizzato of the condo expert. Now, Also, remember, register yourself. If you're a condo owner or condo buyer, register at www.coaontario.com. And also, if you've got questions, whether they're real estate related or condominium or property values, this and that, you know, I wouldn't have the uh, information I have had I not had the experience that I've received. And I certainly wouldn't have been able to start the Condo Owners Association without having this kind of a background. So contact me at Linda. Pinizzato, P-I-N-I-Z-Z-O-T-T-O at C-O-A-Ontario.com or Linda at LindaPenizzato.com. Until the next time, have a fantastic day and thank you so much for tuning in.